who is running for academics chair. Hi everyone, my name is Rene Bali, I'm a junior here, and I'm re-running for academics, because I only see academics here as well. <clears throat> um, the reason why I want to re-run for academics is mostly because I started this year thinking I knew what I was doing, <laughs> and throughout the year I kind of decided, oh, I actually need a lot more like skill level, and like that's what I did this year, I built up a lot of skills that I thought I had, but now it's even better this year, so um, going into next year, I really hope to like progress in Project Family, which I started doing this year, I revamped the entire program, I made mentor contracts and letters to the parents and um, started doing grade checks with project family mentees. Um, and I really, really want to continue that next year and continue to have the program to grow. And with Filipino Day coming up next week, I hope to have some of those students come into Project Family and I will have Project Family sign-ups for those students if they are, will decide to um, join us next year. <clears throat> um, also with Academics Chair as the Academics Chair for FOSA, um, I have started to convert all the paper files of study study files into digital format, um, and that includes scanning them and or rewriting them so that they are legible and readable. Um, and that is going onto a website that I'm slowly creating, so they have so that students have access to it rather than me having it all and then emailing it out to everyone because that's easier for everyone to use. Um, so it'll be user friendly, and. Um, so, some things that I really, really want to take up into next year is um, kind of being more stronger in the academic field with our officer group, uh, because I know that this year sometimes we struggled a little bit, and it's, I mean, I feel like I could have done a little better job with pursuing, like, hey, how are you doing at school, or just, and bring that also to the members as well. But, yes, that's me. Thank you very much. And Donnie. Uh, out of your experiences from this this last year, um, what do you plan to do significantly different next year? Oh, okay. So this, this upcoming year, I plan on doing a lot more planning in the summer because I felt this year I kind of winged it and I wasn't sure and haven't even settled until probably two weeks before an actual thing. So I plan on doing a lot more this summer in terms of planning project family events, planning academic things, and then like saying, oh, I really need to do this, and then writing it down and then pursuing it within like a two week period and letting everyone know within a week of the event. So planning is going to be bigger for me. What is something that you were able to accomplish this year as academics chair that you're really proud of? I'm actually really proud of Project Family. Um, not just because I'm really passionate about mentoring, but because I feel like this year's group is a lot more together. And they know each other really well. They're always excited to see each other. And they're excited to support each other whenever we see each other and like, have events like surrounding each other. So I'm really, really proud of that group and that dynamic. You said you're gonna focus on academics. How do you propose to do that? I mean, like with the office affairs or help um, them with their academics. Okay, so I want to do quarterly grade checks or like just quarterly meetings with each officer. Maybe not grade checks, but quarterly like how are you doing? Like be honest with me, and it's just one on one. It won't be with everybody else. Um, be it if it's just like you want to meet with me in a cafe or like at lunch with me. Um, I really want to do that just so that we are all settled on like our academic careers. Chrissy? Aside from going on Filipino Day, what are your plans to recruit more PF candidates or okay. students, I guess? I got okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've actually been emailing a lot of Seattle schools, um, and I've been in a lot of contact with Northern Seattle schools, so Nathan Hale High School is a big thing for me right now. Um, and that's just like contacting them, giving my, them a brochure, and giving them my flyer, and getting in contact with just Filipino communities, 
around the Puget Sound. So that's what I've been doing of late. There. Is it only uh, Nathan Hale or? Um, I've gotten in contact yeah. with the other Seattle schools, but since it's so late in the year, I haven't been getting a lot of responses because this uh, it's a busy time. But I've been kind of driving driving home like what I plan on doing and what Project Family is, and I'm hoping that with the students that I have right now in the other high schools around the area, that they can just like kind of bring their friends along and be like, hey, come to Project Family, bring a friend, and that kind of grow that community that way. Oh, and I'm just curious about the demographics that you chose. Oh, yeah. Okay. Chaos, the predominantly white school. Oh, All yeah. The Filipinos and it's probably the South Side. Yeah. Franklin and Cleveland. Yeah, no, uh, I have students from Franklin and Cleveland and Garfield, so I've been pursuing them to bring along people in Renton High School as well. But there are a few Nathan Hale people. They reached out to me actually because their students who are Filipino actually don't have any Filipino. Their parents want them to learn about the Filipino culture and get kind of a grasp of what Filipino identity is. And that's kind of why I'm working with them a lot because they have students who don't believe that they're Filipino or they don't understand their culture. And so that's kind of why I'm reaching out to them a lot. One of the biggest challenges I feel like is finding, making PF relevant to college students. Um, what, is it, what are a couple of ways that you can think of to make it relevant and keep a strong core? We have 30 seconds. If anyone has any last minute questions, please ask them now. All right. Well, that concludes Brittany's speech.